There's a building at the fair that celebrates Iowa's natural resources, and the folks inside love to share their knowledge with fairgoers. We want to be ambassadors to getting people outside and doing things with their families and really enjoying the quality of life that Iowa has to offer. The DNR building gives us an opportunity to showcase the resources that we have and the services we provide for the citizens of Iowa, whether it be through water and air quality or state parks or fish and wildlife that we have in our state. And you know, the people that are here, the experts that we have in the fields that work for the DNR are on hand to answer questions and kind of interact with people and help them experience that in a, in a controlled setting. So that's an owl, uh, oh, 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 a snowy oh, owl feather okay, there. Snowy owl. <laughs> is this part of a beaver as well? Nope, this is part of a swan foot. What does the duck do with these web feet? Does it tell where he lives? Does he live in the water? Yeah. yeah. Are your feet webbed? Yeah. No. Your feet are webbed? <laughs> Silly. I feel how sharp these are. Sharp. But with these feathers on his feet, it actually helps him make him real quiet when he's out hunting. They're going to see all things Iowa. They're going to come to the State Fair and they're going to see the, the historic fish aquarium. They're going to see the duck ponds that they came and saw when they were kids. They're going to see new events like the presentations in the courtyard. So this is a trumpeter swan. They last nested here in Iowa back in the late 1800s. They disappeared and they were out in Yellowstone. There was only 69 birds or eight pair out in Yellowstone in 1932. So that's close to an eight foot wingspan. It's the largest waterfowl in North America. He can also do some low fives. Too. You guys want to try low fives? Put your hands down here. Put your hand down low. So this bird has an injured wing and unfortunately we'll never be able to fly again, but fortunately this bird can be placed in a captive breeding program. We can pair it up with a mate. Hopefully then this bird can have some young swans called cygnets, and those young swans then can help be released into the wild and be part of our wild free firing population. <laughs> yeah, so it's really, so it's really quite amazing how docile and gentle they are. You got to realize that the 11 days at the State Fair take a lot more than 11 days for the DNR. And it is difficult for us to bring that staff together and try to put on a quality experience for people as seamlessly as we can. But those fish are coming from all corners of the state to represent the habitats that those fish live in, whether it be the river systems, the Northeast Iowa trout streams, the big reservoirs, all those fish species are going to be represented at the State Fair because they come from all corners of the state. The DNR building showcases our state's best natural resources, from fish to wildlife to parks to trails to rivers, you name it. And there's some gems hidden in this state that if you don't come and talk to us here at the State Fair in the DNR building, you might not find out or know about them. 